What's up everybody, Jason Bravasa Productions. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this transparent text effect inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion, coming up. All right, so here we are inside the edit tab of DaVinci Resolve. I need to take a clip right here that I have of a cycling class, bring that down into the workspace, right? To the edit page here. And what I wanna do is look at the length of this. It's about seven and a half seconds. I'm just gonna keep it at seven and a half seconds. To make this a fusion clip, all I have to do is right click on this, come up here and left click on new fusion clip. And now we have a fusion comp that we can work on. Come down to the fusion tab, left click on that. Now we're inside the fusion workspace. Bring the media out over here to the right and the media in is your actual cycling clip right there. Bring that over here and let go. Come up to fit and we're gonna go to 50% and just make it a little bit smaller so it scales a little easier for me and I can see it a little bit easier. The next thing that I wanna do is come up here to background and left click and drag it background down into the workspace, take its output and left click and drag that into the output of the media in. And then we've got this black background. Now it looks a little goofy. All I have to do is start to create some masks. I wanna come up here to rectangle mask and left click that with background selected. Now we have a black rectangle right there. Left click on the background right here, which is that rectangle, come up to black, left click on that, select white and hit okay. And now we have a white rectangle. That's not exactly what I'm looking for here. So I'm gonna come up to rectangle and select it, come up to solid and click that so we have nothing. All I have to do though to get what I want is take the border width and go to the right and just create an outline right there. That's the effect that I'm looking for is just a white outline. Now take another background, bring that down into the workspace, take its output, drag it into this background and let go. There we go. Got to merge here again. Take this background now and take another mask, but take the mask and bring it to the left side of the merge. What I'm gonna do is take the output of this rectangle and bring it into the mask of the merge right here and let go. And now you can see I've got a rectangle inside of my outline already. So we have that set up. We just need to change the color of it. Select background, left click there, come up to black, left click, select white, hit okay. And now again, we just kind of have this rectangle. We're gonna change that a little bit. Select the rectangle by left clicking right here. Come up here to this line and just left click and drag this and bring this in. So we have some gaps between the rectangle, right? And the outline that we made. So we have some gaps here on each side, kind of like the way that that looks right there. And to make that text effect, it's really, really simple. Just take a text node, left click and drag this into the workspace. Take the output of this text node and drag it right into the alpha here of the background. And then type in, I'm just gonna type in fitness and drag the size of the fitness to the right, bring it big like this or bigger. You might say, Jason, that's not the effect that you know, you're showing in the preview. Well, I'll show you how to get that really quick. Select the background here by left clicking, come up here to settings and come up to apply mask inverted and just left click. And there is your see-through text effect. Very simple, very easy. Take that text, let's make it just a little bit bigger, drag to the right. And you can see the video clip underneath there, right? And you can see, you know, their feet and legs moving and all that stuff. So we have the effect that we want. We're just gonna fancy this up a little bit. Left click and drag these nodes up, bring them up. Left click here, hit shift and spacebar and type in drop and hit enter. Take the drop shadow node that we have now and just hold down shift and left click and drag it over the line until the line turns blue green, let go. And now we have a drop shadow to give us a little bit of depth on that so it looks a little bit more professional. Come up to the shadow strength, drag it to the right a little bit to intensify that and take the drop distance and bring that to the left so it's a little tighter on all the shapes and the text that we just created. The last step I wanna do to this is I wanna animate this quickly and easily. Take a transform node, left click and drag that over this line until it turns blue, let go. Then come over here to frame 24 left click on this keyframe right here, come to frame zero right here, left click and drag the X position off the screen just like this, come up to settings, left click on motion blur, left click spline here, left click on transform, left click on zoom to fit right here, left click and drag over the keyframes, S to smooth, hold down option on a Mac or Alt on Windows and take this handle and left click and drag it to your left to smooth that a little more. 
And if I just hit spacebar, we have this cool little animation with the see-through text, right? So it looks really professional and it's something that we did pretty fast. Come over here to the last keyframe. It's 186 total roughly. So come down to 162 with the playhead. Left click on controls, left click keyframe right here, left click right here. And we're just gonna take this off to the right and animate it this way this time to get it off the screen at the very end of the clip. Left click on spline right here, left click on zoom to fit, left click and drag over these guys, S to smooth, hit the magnifying glass here, left click and drag over these, hit option and left click on a Mac or alt on windows and drag this handle to your left. Hit the spline here, and let's go back to the very beginning. Hit space bar to play. Fitness comes on. It'll stick on the screen for about five seconds here, and then it animates off. Now, let's watch that over in the edit tab. Left click on the edit tab here. Let's let this load up, and let's see what it looks like in the edit tab. Hit space bar to play. Looks good, looks professional, right? There's so many more things that you could do with this. This is just a very basic thing that I'm showing you how to do. And if we just watch that play again, we can see that comes on. We get that see-through text effect. You could use any words that you want, any colors that you want. This is just the basic design I decided to show for this particular video. So hopefully this helps you create that see-through text effect quickly and easily. All right, that wraps it up for this video on how to create a transparent text effect inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. If you found this video helpful or you feel like you learned something today, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. I'm Jason for Vasa Productions. We'll see you next time.